Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, November 28th, 2018, and I am Mackenzie Garza. Holiday season is kicking off on campus. Local drug arrests in Tarleton Sports. These stories more coming up on Texan TV. In campus news, the Department of Fine Arts presents a senior capstone exhibit, art and digital media student Tristan McMillan. The exhibit will be in the Fine Arts Gallery November 28th through the 30th. The gallery is open on weekdays between 9 to 5. Admission is always free. The holiday season kicks off with Tarleton State University's 39th annual Holiday Masterworks concert set for 7.30 p.m. Saturday, December 1st in the Clyde H. Wells Fine Arts Center Auditorium on the Stephenville campus. The concert features Tarleton's choral program, the Cross Timbers Civic Choral, and the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra. Tickets are $15 and on sale in the box office from 2 to 6 p.m. through Friday, November 30th and beginning at 6 p.m. on show day. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, a 51-year-old man was arrested Tuesday night for failing to stop and render aid in an accident involving death. On October 6, authorities were dispatched to a stretch of highway in Huckabay for a report of a deceased person on the side of the road. Troopers arrived on scene and discovered a deceased white male with injuries consistent with being struck by a vehicle. Investigators found several vehicle parts and debris left at the scene. On November 11th, investigators received an anonymous tip that James Madison Day was involved. Day is being held at the Erath County Jail. His bond has not been set as of Wednesday morning. In other local news, according to The Flash Today, 10 Erath County residents are among a reported 32 suspects taken into custody by federal authorities as part of an extensive and long-time drug investigation involving multiple counties. Erath County residents arrested in the investigation include Lily Bills of Stephenville, Janae Butler of Stephenville, Edward Martin Carranza of Dublin, Michael Taylor Davidson of Stephenville, Thomas Cruz Gonzalez of Dublin, Brad Keith of Stephenville, Michaela Denise Moncrief of Dublin, and Kara Michelle Treweek of Stephenville. A complaint filed May 19th alleges that the defendants conspired to possess and contribute more than 50 grams of methamphetamine from January 2017 to July 2018. The defendants face up to 40 years in federal prison and a $5 million fine if convicted. In state news, an investigation by the Associated Press and a federal watchdog reported found that the U.S. waived FBI checks for the staff at a migrant camp in Tornillo, Texas. None of the 2,100 staffers at the camp housing over 2,300 teens went through rigorous background FBI checks. Background checks are instead being conducted by a private contractor. As of Tuesday, the number of children at the camp is still growing. U.S. stocks are slipping Tuesday morning as technology companies fall after President Donald Trump said he expects to put more tariffs on imports from China. That could increase the cost of products like laptops and smartphones. Other stocks are also lower after a strong gain the day before in other national news. Stephenville Hillenburg, the creator of SpongeBob, died Monday at the age of 57. According to Nickelodeon, Hillenburg died of ALS. He created, wrote, produced, and directed the TV show that started in 1999. In international news, a Chinese researcher who claims to have helped make the world's first genetically edited baby says a second pregnancy is underway. Researchers from China revealed their pregnancy Wednesday at an international conference in Hong Kong. He claims to have altered the DNA of twin girls born the month born this month to try and make them resistant to the HIV AIDS virus. Other scientists, universities, and government groups are investigating the experiment. For more of today's national and international news, we take you to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Republican Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith won Mississippi Senate election runoff. She defeated Democrat Mike Espy and becomes the first woman elected to Congress from Mississippi. The Chinese scientist who claims to have helped make the world's first gene-edited babies says a second pregnancy may be underway. The researcher spoke publicly about the controversial experiment in Hong Kong. Demonstrators marched outside the home of Hoover, Alabama's mayor. 
They're protesting the police shooting that killed E.J. Bradford Jr. in a mall Thanksgiving night. General Motors says it's cutting thousands of jobs because it's retooling to produce more electric and autonomous vehicles. The White House expressed great disappointment and didn't rule out action against GM. Rita Foley, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports news, the Tarleton volleyball team has had a historic season, and now they will have two players go down as American Volleyball Coaches Association All-Americans. Hannah McManus and Adriana Dartui claimed the All-American honors this week as McManus was named to the All-American third team, while Dartui earned honorable mention honors. I am so proud of Hannah and Adriana, and they are deserving of these awards, said Texan head coach Mary Schindler. The Texans will see their historic season end this weekend as they play at the highest level possible, the NCAA Division II National Championship Tournament in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Texans will face off against third seed Western Washington on Thursday, November 29th at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. For weather, today will be sunny with a high of 74 and a low of 51. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us on Facebook Live and Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune into Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at texannews.net for more of the latest news. This newscast was produced by the Texan TV staff. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day, Texans.